in a fiery land called Mordor. There's, um, well, a paintbrush, really. Welcome to part three of my tabletop world build and paint and today we have the noble townhouse it is huge it is a three-story multi-part building and it's absolutely beautiful I will give you a 360 of this beast of a building absolutely amazing Got a wood roof, absolutely full of detail, absolutely gorgeous. It comes with um, a separate chimney and these uh, parts on the roof and this part to be glued on at a later date. Now I want to paint it first before sticking this part on to make it a little bit easier to get to the parts that need painting. Again, I'll be painting it with the red roof and brickwork, but this will be quite a challenge, quite a challenge, but I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Okay, there's a 360 of this magnificent building. I will now show you the interior. So as always, the roof part comes off lots of wood effects very beautiful and then you've got the first top, top layer again lots of wood because of the size of this miniature as well it should be a lot more easier to actually get to the windows I struggled with the smaller buildings because I could get my paintbrush in there so I'm actually thinking of maybe snapping some of my paintbrushes so I can get a get, get them in there a little bit easier so that's at one level and that's this level doesn't come off but as you can see it is another level again with the wood effect flooring and lots of windows and you can have all your little minis running around inside now with these miniatures uh, with these buildings you can't keep the miniature in there it won't um, it will crush the miniature you can have the miniatures in the top level they will fit in the top level so you can have them having a party in there overnight <laughs> So this is the noble townhouse. I will come back once it's all painted and I'll show you how nice this can become. Ooh, so here we have the finished noble house. And did I say this was gonna be a challenge? Oh my God, this was a challenge. <laughs> this was a lot of work. Um, I've probably spent 36 hours on this miniature which doesn't sound a lot to quite a few painters, but 36 hours painting for me uh, is a long, long time. Um, but I am again, super, super happy how this came out. So let's give you a little 360. I have put uh, a Reaper miniature, Townsfolk miniature next to the building. So for scale, so we can see the size and let's go. This was a huge challenge to paint. Not in a bad way, it was a fantastic thing to paint. But for the time frame I had for painting, um, it was very difficult to get done in my time frame. But it did come out and it was worth the extra effort. Beautiful.
Like I say, this is a three story building. It has three different depart uh, departments, <laughs> compartments. I glued on the uh, balcony after I had uh, painted it, so it makes it easier. Um, so let's take a little look see inside, shall we? Let's move this back a bit. Um, as always, all the interior is fully painted. A nice wood effect. And we have this level here, all painted. Nice wood floors. And we have this floor as well. Take the little mini out. Like so. So there we are. This is a fantastic miniature. Absolutely huge, but it's not one of the biggest I have to paint. I have the Wizard's Tower to paint, and that is twice the size. It's massive. Um, so we're just touching the edge of some of the larger miniatures. Um, next Sunday, um, I will go back and do a smaller miniature to give myself a reprieve <laughs> and to catch up on my work. Um, I hope you enjoy these videos. Um, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel and uh, join me on Patreon and you'll find out lots more what's going on with the Goblins of Mordor. And all I can say is until next time.